Hey, welcome back. Today let's look at some semicircles today. Hope you're having a good day so far. Um, again, this will make it all better for you. So, all right. We'll skin some, cat, or excuse me, semicircles today. That's what we're looking at. Let's look at the definition of a semicircle. I mean, a semicircle is basically just, you know, half a circle. An arc, if you're looking at a circle like this, I mean, an arc is like, you know, the, the part of the circumference of the circle, something like there to there. That's an arc. Um, a circumference, don't forget, is the uh, distance all around a circle. What is the formula for circumference? You tell me. Circumference equals what times what? It's pi, right, times the diameter. Okay, don't forget what, the, what that thing is right there. That's about 3.14, right? And that means that, let's say, you got a diameter like this, goes right through the middle. If you were to take it out of here and go, oh, there's my diameter, I'll, I'll just tie it right there. It goes around once. Oh, let me try it again. Okay, it goes around again. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it goes around again. It goes, oh, there's a little left over right here. How much is left over? Oh, uh, there's three times, and then let's figure it out. Oh, one, four, there you go. Okay, that's what pi is, that the number of times a diameter goes around a circle that it's on. All right, so make sure you know it's pi times a diameter and so on. The area, make sure you know that. The area of a circle is pi times the radius squared, not two times the radius, the radius squared. Okay, make sure you know those, all right? All right, let's try a couple of these. Find the perimeter and the area of this figure. Now, perimeter, you know, means the distance around, right? So this is a piece of cake so far. Well, so far, around that whole thing, all the way in the boom. You got 10, you got 15, you got 11.18, you'll add those all together. I don't even care what they are. I don't care about the answer. Let's just, but the method, that's what we're looking at. Okay, the question is, how far is it from here all the way around to there? Now, that is a semicircle, right? It's half a circle. So we need to, if they want the perimeter, they're asking for the circumference of the circle, right? But we don't have a whole circle. We just have a half of the circle. So the normal formula for the diameter, I mean, excuse me, for the circumference is pi times the diameter. Well, since we're only get, getting around a half of a circle, Instead of multiplying this by the diameter, we're going to multiply by what? What's half a diameter called? Radius, okay? So all you need to do is go like this. Well, the circumference of half of that circle is pi, 3.14, times not the diameter, but the radius, which is 5. If you did the arithmetic, you'd find that the circumference is, what is that? 5 times 3 is 15, 14 times 70, there we go. 15.7, you know, whatever. You add that to this, to this, and to that, and then boom, you got it. Okay, now let's do area. So the area of this thing, you're gonna to have to know how to do an area of a triangle, you're gonna to have to know how to do the area of a circle, and you're gonna to have to know how to do the area of a, of a rectangle. I mean, you, you gotta know this. So um, I won't actually do all the arithmetic, I'll just kind of bust this up into three pieces. Well, let's do this part first, that's a piece of cake. This is 10 across, right? Well, the question is, how tall is this thing? You're gonna go, well, 10 and, uh, oh, I don't know. Well, if you know the radius of this semicircle right here, is five, you can swing this thing up like that. Like if you're, let's say you're swinging it to the left, you could go, oh, well that means from here to here is five as well. And if you could swing that thing down right there too, you'd go, oh, well that thing is five as well. Oh, so the thing is five plus 10, okay? So this part's gonna be 10 times 10, that'll be 100 over there, boom. That's the area of that rectangle, which is also a square. The question over here is, what's the area of this triangle? Well, the area of a triangle is half of the base times the height. Well, what is this base right there to there? Well, we look at this and go, that's 10, that's 15. Oh, it must be 5. Okay. And, oops. Let me get that out of there. You don't care about any 11 on nothing like that. Don't even, don't even mess with that. We're talking about area. That is not the height. That's the, that's the hypotenuse. Okay. The height we've already figured over here was 10, right? Remember that? So 5 times 10 is 50. Half of that's 25. Yoink. There we go. 25. Now all we got to do is find the area of this thing. And this is going to be the worst thing you do on these. Okay, so don't forget the area of a, uh, a, a circle is pi times the radius squared. Now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and find what it would be normally with the whole circle. Then after you find the answer, just hack it in half. Don't mess with any of this stuff until you've found what this is. Okay, so the area is going to be pi 3.14 times the radius squared, the radius is 5. 5 squared is 25, right? 
So the area is going to be, once you do the arithmetic, you'd find the answer is 78.5. But that would, that's the area of a whole circle. We ain't got no whole circle. We got a half a circle. All right? So we're going to cut this thing in half. So half of 70 is 35. Half of 8 is 4. 35 plus 4 is 39. Half of 0.5 is 0.25. You just add that to that and that, and boom, you got it. So what, 164.25, somewhere around there? Okay. That's it. That's all you do. All right. Okay, let's try this one. Now that looks like a monstrosity, doesn't it? You're going to have to mess with this one. I'd get a pencil and fiddle around your book, you know, and just write little notes for yourself and just erase them when you're done so you can pass the book on to your little brothers and sisters. Okay. All right, perimeter and area. Yeesh. Okay, let's take a look. All right, we got this. We ain't got this around here. This uh, right there, we need that. We also need this. We ain't got from here to here either, or from here to here. When we look at this radius, again, that swings around. That means from here to here is 5, and that's the 5, 2, so this part will be 10. Got that? Okay. Same thing here. This part is 6 from here to here, because it matches that 6. If you swing that 4 down there, that's going to be 4. That's going to be 4. It's going to be 8, so we got 14 total here. All right. So we'll add 10. We'll add 6. We'll add 14. That'll be what? 30? Okay. Now let's get the perimeter of this part right here. Don't forget what perimeter is called for a circle. It's called the circumference, right? We ain't got a half. We got, it's not a whole circle. It's a half, right? So the formula for the circumference means, or it is, you know, 3.14 pi times the diameter, right? Well, we're not doing the whole thing. We're just doing the half, right? So we don't have to multiply by the diameter, which would be 8. We just have to multiply by 4, the radius. So 3.14 times 4. And that'll be 12.56. So that part's 12.56. That's the distance from here to here. All right. Now we're going to have to find the distance from here yoop, all the way to there. Same old thing. We're going to do half again. We're going to do not pi, or circumference is pi times the diameter because it's only a half a circle. So let's do pi times the radius. And the pi times the radius is 5. So we'll go C, a circumference is 3.14 times 5, and that'll be 15.7. And, you know, you just add all that stuff together, and that's what you get. So that's the perimeter, okay? The area is another thing, okay? We've already said that we figured this was 10, and we figured this thing down here was 14. We got three shapes to figure. We got a 10 by 14, right? That's 140. We got this hunk here, half a circle, and that over there. You got to remember your area formula for circles. This, this is going to I mean you're going to do this literally for years in math. I mean algebra one, algebra two, advanced math. Uh, you know, I mean finger painting, everything. You, it comes out here. You're doing this. So let's go. Area is pi times the radius squared. Well, the four squared is sixteen, right? Boom. And that's going to be if you multiply that out, do the arithmetic, fifty point two four. But don't forget, this is not a complete circle. It's half of that. So you're just going to chuck this in half. Actually, what you could do if you wanted to is to take this number and just go, I'm not going to multiply this by 16. After I do this, I'm going to multiply it by 8. Then you would get 25.12 as your answer. That is the number of squares that go into this thing if you were to do it right. Okay. Same thing here. Area is pi r squared. Pi times the radius squared. Well, that's going to be 25. Okay, then you would actually go ahead and do times 25, that'd be 78.5. Then you'd go, okay, I'm going to take half of this because it's only half of the circle, and that'll be 39.25. You add that with that, with that, and there's your area of the whole thing. That's it. These, I admit, <laughs> they're tedious. They're tedious. The reason they want you to do this is because they want you to start thinking faster and faster and faster about how to find areas of circles, areas of half circles, and then plopping them all together. Okay, you got to get in your head these two formulas. The distance around a circle is the diameter inside the circle. It goes around three times and a little more. 3.14 times the diameter. That's the circumference. Area is the, the number of squares inside a circle is the same thing as 3.14 times the square of the radius. Not double the radius, unless it's two, but the square of the radius, okay? All right, let's go ahead and try on page 204, um, and then go ahead and pause it, and then we'll come back and do them together. Okay, perimeter 
uh, will have to be the distance around. So we're gonna have to figure out this and then that and then yeah, all that kind of stuff. Okay, this one over here, you can see that this uh, radius swings that way and it makes it two from here to here and also two from there to there. So that's gonna be four, okay? And over this, now you might think, what in the world is this thing here? What's going on? If this whole thing is eight, wait, what is this? I'm missing this part right from there to there. How can I do that? Well, if you go over and go, okay, well this swings down there and that makes this part right here to here, three. And then if it swings over this way again, it makes this from here to here three, then it's three and then six and then, oh, this must be two right there. So you're gonna add two and four and eight, which is what, 14? And then we're gonna have to find out the like, you know, circumference of half of this circle and then add it to the circumference of half of that circle. The formula for circumference is pi times the diameter. Of course, we're not doing diameter, we're just doing a half a circle, so let's just do the radius. So I'll just go 3.14 on this one, and that'll be times three. And that's gonna give you 9.42. So we'll hold that for a second. All right, this one here, the circumference is gonna be pi, not times the diameter, only because it's a half a circle and not the whole circle. The distance around a half a circle will not be pi times the diameter. It'll be pi times the radius, because the radius is half a diameter, and we got a half a circle. So uh, this will be, the diameter is two, so that's gonna be 6.28. You'll add this with this with 14, and that's whatever that is. Okay, so what, 20.28. So there'll be what, uh, am I doing that right? 29.7, is, is that what you guys got? I think that's right, okay. All right, that is it for today. It, there's only a one or two of those per lesson, don't worry. Just take it like a one extra minute and get it right and try to remember all these things and it'll start getting in your head very quickly. You'll, you'll do it faster and faster. So, all right, see you guys next time. Take care.